you guys. I literally just walked into my house fresh from my lip injection appointment. So if I'm talking weird or funny, it's because I have put a ton of numbing cream on before I do it. And I got dissolve dissolver up here and a little tiny bit of lip filler in there because I'm a crazy bitch and I'm like, girl, I want lip filler. And she goes, let's just dissolve me. And I'm like, I want fucking lip filler. She's like, we'll do a little bit. But I love my girl so much. She's amazing. And I feel like I haven't given you guys a lip update in a minute, like a proper lip update. So I'm here at you with one. So I actually been getting a lot of compliments. I know right when I get my lips done is when I love my lips the best because they're so swollen from the numbing cream, the ice, the poking, the prodding. Like I love how swollen they are right after. And they do go down. Once they go down, everyone has been giving me so many compliments about my lips. And like, oh my god, your lips look so much better. And like just wondering like what she did and like how I kind of fixed my lips, I guess you could say. Look, bef before anything, like I totally, my old place I used to go to, an old girl I used to go to, like I have nothing but love for her. Like I loved how my lips looked. I honestly like didn't think, oh my god, my lips are fucked up by any means. The reason I started going to my new girl, Nurse Tiff, is because she's literally five minutes away, so much closer. The other place took me like two hours in traffic, two and a half hours, like just a really long time to get down there. Um, they were great and wonderful to me always, and I, I liked how my lips looked, but this girl was just closer. I followed her on Instagram for a while, and I've told this before, but I, and I tell her this all the time. Like, I was a fan of hers. Like, she used to be one of the Playboy girlfriends, and she was on Cribs, and she was always so cute and pretty, and I just always looked up to her on like MySpace. Just, you know, I didn't know her personally, but like just beauty wise, I always, liked, I always liked her style and the way she like looked and presented herself. So I've just been a fan of hers for like a really long time and then when I saw she was you know I, I followed her journey from like when she started nursing school and everything like that and then like I don't know I, I just randomly stumbled upon her like on a lip recommendation thing and I like loved it I started following her and like her personal account but then also her business account and she would show these lips and I'm like those are the lips I want it's just a fuller pout in the middle and not so like long of a pout which it's just two different looks um but I do like the way my lips look now and a lot of you guys are like how did you fix them so I use that in quotes because I did like my lips before I love my lips now it's just two totally completely different looks so I go to this girl named nurse Tiffany I don't even know if she has her last name on there it's just beauty by Tiffany on Instagram I'm so obsessed with her she is so great she's so quick um she's she's just amazing in every way I go to her in Beverly Hills. She has two locations. I go to her in Beverly Hills, and I used to go down to Orange County, and I will say that there is quite a big price difference, um, which I'm willing to pay because for me, I just the convenience is a huge thing, and also I do think it's just, it's almost like a lip transformation that she does, which I really like. Um, so, the biggest thing is from, well, from the front, you can see that the pout is more in the middle. That's where she focuses on. She's constantly, I just put lip gloss on my mouth, but she's constantly pushing this up because she wants this to go up, which is like how her mouth is and all the clients I see on her Instagram is, and that's like her, her style of what her, her injections. Just like any plastic surgeon you go to, everyone's going to do a breast implant differently. They're all certified. They're all great, but they're all going to just look different. They're all going to have their style. So her style is just this up and she pushes it up. So you have this sort of like big pout here, big pout here, and then more like heart shape there. Um, so what we've been working on, I have gone three times now to get Dissolver, and I get the Dissolver on top of my lips. So when I turn to the side, I'm looking to get my lips more pressed against my face flat, like closer to my nose and more closer to my face. They were protruding quite a bit, I'm going to have to find side by side, they were protruding quite a bit out in that sort of duck bill, I guess that's why a lot of people call them duck lips, which again, I love. Like if someone has that look or someone has the duck lips where it's protruding more just this way, right, like a duck. I think that's extremely sexy. I think it's extremely hot. I am now trying to get them closer to my face. So she dissolves up here and around here. And I'm not gonna lie, the dissolver is a little bit of a bitch. Like she told me today I was like a champion. She goes, Oh, you did it. But I honestly thought, because like you can numb 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 all you want, you'll feel that you'll feel the dissolver. It's a little bit of a bitch. I think she kind of described it as like almost like I don't know. If she described it like this or she's in my head, but like it's almost like this warm like salt water like going into dissolve basically, and that's kind of what it feels like. And the prick of that hurts a lot more than the injections. I don't know why. I don't know the like logic behind it. Like I don't know why that would hurt more than the actual injections. When she was doing my injections, you know, it just doesn't. It, it like, and I will say too the difference between them. Like their numbing cream is not as strong, so I definitely feel the injections more when she does them. But it's not a bad thing. I think it's just different numbing creams, and also I don't the numbing cream as long because no, when I was down in Orange County I may have been the only one to have been able to do this but I remember I would sit there for literally an hour with the numbing cream on and it was like the strongest fucking numbing cream you could ever get. I think this is more like of just maybe not so evasive like numbing cream. It still works but I definitely feel it a lot more. But having said that, now that I've actually felt the injections, does it hurt? The initial prick kind of hurts a little bit 
but it's not like anything you're gonna pass out from. I've never felt lightheaded. I felt lightheaded twice down at my old place, so I've never felt lightheaded with her. She's very, very quick, like I said, and it's kind of like, oh, and you're done. And I love, like, the thing about her, she's so, her bedside manner is so, like, is that the right word? Sounds like we had sex or something, but, like, her bedside manner, right? Like, the way, like, she treats, like, her patients, like, so nice. Like, I go in there and I just laugh my ass off. Like, I'm so fascinated with her, and she's, like, this open book. I just love her so much. Like, I have this, like, really, like, it's just a good time. So, even when she's, like, injecting, she's, like, telling me stories, which kind of, like, deflects. And I don't think, like, every, like... Or not esthetician, every injectable person needs to be like personal and tell you their life story, you know what I mean? But it just helps me because I'm not focusing on the injections part. I like her because she's really, really honest and open and just like, girl, like you have to dissolve this before we can put more up there because it's just gonna look like a duck build and then you're gonna have all this stuff in the middle and all this stuff out here and it's just gonna look like a mess. Which, like I said, gives me so much respect for her because I am like, girl, it's fine. Like, you know, the first time I posted a side by side, a lot of people got really pissed off. Well, not even post side by side. Before I posted the side by side, which is my lips right after, and they got so pissed off because people just thought, girl, why are you getting all this done? What kind of doctor would put more stuff in you? Not knowing that we were working on reshaping my lips and all that stuff like that. But, you know, she took it to heart. She is so, like, careful with what she puts in and not to be, like, too much. Because, like, if it was up to me, I would have, like, these huge-ass lips. Like, I want them very, very large. Like, I, it may not be your cup of tea. It may not be her cup of tea. It may not be a lot of people's cup of tea. But I just really like huge, huge lips. I think they look good. And, like I said, even if they are more duck-built, I actually, like, don't mind that. I just like the way big lips look. But for me personally, and now that I found Tiff, like, I am loving the more upturned. So she kind of just... She, how does it just touch it? You just push the middle part up basically and um, I can even feel it just getting close to my face. So basically by dissolving this, the lips are getting closer to my face which gives it more of the illusion of a pout rather than like a duck bell. So that's basically all we've been doing is just getting the dissolver which I've never even heard of before her. Like I didn't even know. So if you're someone who has that duck bill look or you're getting the injections above your lips, for me personally I always thought I just have small lips, the injections are just going to go up there, like you can't really control where the injections go if you just don't have enough lip and you just want all the injections in there, they're just going to go above your lip. But that's not the case and I'm learning that with her, like she showed me like her before and after is like how you can have small lips and still get a lot in there, you just got to like reshape the lip basically. Um, she's amazing. At first we were, she's like give me three, like you know, three like sessions or whatever like that. Um, and they they are a complete transformation I feel but she's like give me like you know a few more months and they're gonna start looking like how you want them which is I want those pouts and I want that really really big um, so this is kind of my lip update because a lot of people I know did go to my old place and like I said like, the pricing is a lot different at this place it is more expensive at Tiffany's place um, it's in Los Angeles so I don't know you can kind of depend that on your traveling in Beverly Hills kind of area and um, it's just going to give you a completely different look. But like I said, I'm so open with all my things. And if you do still continue to go to my old place, like I love my lips there. You guys know I was obsessed with my lips. Like people would tell me your lips look like shit all the time. And I was like, girl, I love them. Like I never, you know what I mean? Like it never was. I never blamed her, like the, the nurse, no, nobody. Like that's how I liked them. And now that's how I like these. But just knowing about this dissolver. So if you, like I said, if you are someone who has that above there and maybe it doesn't bother you or maybe you don't think it bothers you, but you just want to see how it looks differently, try a dissolver. Like wherever you live, I'm obviously talking about Southern California but wherever you live you know try a dissolver that will dissolve it if you've already gone too far because yes lips go down on their own over time but you know that for some reason was just staying there I think because I've injected my lips for years it just kind of was like stuck there almost which was crazy because my lips would always go down but the little mustache that it made would always still be there so that's what we've been been dissolving and it sucks I'm not gonna lie like it totally sucks like having to you know, dissolve and not get the injections, you know, and like all that stuff. But it is making a difference. Like, I, I feel like if I couldn't see the difference, I'd be like, okay, this is just like a scam to get more money. But I do see the difference. And she's been um, just really great and open and honest with me. And I absolutely like adore her and love her. And I just get really good vibes when I go there. It's just really clean, really nice. All her stuff is really sparkly. It's just like more my style, my vibe. Um, just like a younger, fresher place, which. Like I said, I, it's not, it's like apples and oranges. You can't really compare the two. It's just more my style. You know, you find something that's more your style, you're like, cool. I'm like, I'm down for this. So, um, I love her so much. I just wanted to give a little shout out. Um, I just my girl, Beauty by Tiffany, and I'll put her Instagram below. She's really, really amazing. You can totally tell her Trish sent you. She tells me all the time people come in and be like, even if people have already gone, they're like, oh my god, I saw a Trish video. Like, Trish sent me. Like, just totally tell her. Like, you know what I mean? Because I don't care. Like, a lot of times it's like this, like, you know, you have patient confidentiality or you're not supposed to know or tell, but you know, I'm a fucking open book. If you guys go anywhere, I've got my shit done, my hair, you know, people go and get their hair color done by my girl all the time and 
just tell them. Be like, I fucking love trash. Like, I don't think it's creepy. I think it's everything. Because how do you think I find people? You know what I mean? Like, I, I find people because I follow people on Instagram. I'm like, oh, they went there. I want to go there. You know what I mean? Um, my eyelash extension places, my airbrush people, like, I found them because another influencer talked about it. So I'm super open. Like I said, you can totally mention me, but love my girl trash. And um, I think it's really awesome. So this is just where I'm at now. Like I said, maybe in a year I'll be at some place different. I'm just always kind of like evolving. And I feel like with my channel, I'm just kind of like, Sometimes I evolve for the better, sometimes you evolve for the worse. Either way, I'm constantly evolving, and I feel like I should always keep you guys up to date, especially with something like cosmetic procedures, which I do know I influence a lot of people. Mm, scratch that. Not influence, I know I may direct people to a lot of places. So if you're already thinking about lip injections, or you've been thinking about them, and you're like, I don't know, I know personally, like I said, I know so many people who've gone the direction I've like let them so if they're like oh i wanted to get lip injections and trisha talked about them like went there same thing like was actually i know people who went to my doctor for life injection you know what i mean like and i'm so honest you guys know if i have a bad experience with the place i'm gonna tell you and i'm gonna be some completely honest and even with this i'm like completely honest that like if you go to tiffany i think that my lips look a lot better i think she can fix your lip problems for sure it's just gonna be a little more expensive that's what you get when you go to a place in Beverly hills versus orange county but um, with that being said, um, these are, like I said, just freshly swollen. You can see my makeup is off around my face and everything. They are freshly swollen. They will go down over time. So if you think I'm talking weird or funny or if it's impairing my speech, it's literally just because um, I just got them done, which I love. I like, can't stop staring at myself because I love my big lips. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little lip updates. I can't do kisses for my fishies because I just got my lips done. They're like swollen and numb and all that shit like that. But any other questions you guys have, definitely let me know in the comments below. You can also find me on Twitter and Instagram at Tish And um, I'm usually always on there recently because I've had no life. I've been really miserable and depressed. <laughs> Go me. Um, <laughs> so you can find me on there and I'll respond. I love you guys so much. Check me shortly on you over Sun and my stars, moon of my life. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.